As in the right. <laughs> the right. We all got pissed off right before yeah. starting the Welcome, recording. Welcome, guys. We are real sad. pissed before this episode. So, <laughs> Welcome so back, mad. Aqua. Hey, I said it's good something to, be back, to piss you. everyone off right before the start, just so we'd all be in the right mood. Aqua's yeah. back. Woo! Yay! Buongiorno. <laughs> <laughs> Buonasera. Yeah. What did I'm you back say on that? Italy. What'd you uh, say on that one tweet where you like said something in French? <laughs> I was like, Bonjour. <laughs> like, yeah. like, hey guys, going to, to Italy in for two weeks. Uh, I'll see you later and bonjour. <laughs> and everyone yeah, was like, and I also, Aqua, that's French. <laughs> I also talked about my debut social interaction upon arriving in Italy. Mm -hmm. Where I got we got to the hotel. I was carrying a bunch of bags, like a backpack. We had I had another bag in my hand and we were walking in and the bellman like puts out his hand and goes, Prego. Everybody says Prego there. Uh it means everything. I think it means pog. We've talked about it. I think they're, I think they're actually alike. talking about uh the pizza sauce company, but yeah, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> right. <laughs> so like every when you're at a restaurant, you order something, you go, Prego. It's like Oh, you're getting the spaghetti? Pog. <laughs> Good yeah, choice. Just pog. <laughs> anyway, he hands out, he puts out his hand, goes prego, like that. And I say, hello. <laughs> I shake his hand. <laughs> it's the bellman. He. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> and I shook his hand. And he was like all confused. And I was like, and then my brain like synapses actually connected for once, and I was like, "Oh!" And I handed him my bag, <laughs> and then he, and then they helped with all my bags, and then I didn't have any euros, so I couldn't tip him. Oh, mm. another thing, tipping is so stressful. It's so weird not tipping. Yeah, yeah, you when you go out and, to eat, you yeah. don't tip. You it's don't so tip. weird. It took me forever to get used to that. Like you can't even do it. There's no place to even add it in. If you yeah. want to do it, you got to do it in it's cash. It's such a weird concept that companies pay their employees enough yeah, right? money that like, they don't need tips. Oh, yeah. Man. It's, you know, being like working in a restaurant is like, uh, you know, you actually get paid there. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, what a concept. Uh, but, yeah, tipping was um, the greatest scam that restaurant owners ever invented. Not yeah. tipping is kind of amazing, though. You just sign and you just go. You don't have to yeah. do any and math. And knowing that the employees <laughs> are earning a livable wage right. is incredible. Yes, yeah. it is. That's also nice to know. Knowing that the restaurant will pay them for the time that they worked is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> knowing yeah. that, that that people are there getting like salary as like every other job out there, you know, just like... So oh, you're gonna I know make... what I get paid today rather than, oh, I might not be able to feed myself today. That's the so difference. So you're going to make $6 an hour, but people should give you uh, extra money if they really like your service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that's cool. Coffee all over that must, that must have been... Hot. What? It, it was crazy. <laughs> Dak, he spilt coffee on himself. That's why he was cleaning himself <laughs> off, guys. He didn't jerk it. He really burned to his fresh. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, tipping. Yeah, it's it's shut. It sucks. Uh, yeah, it does. And you know what? You don't have to do it there. It's unbelievable. Although, like, some people you tip, the whole rule set is completely different. And yep. I didn't know what was going on. I tipped everybody. I didn't, like, everybody who wasn't, like, a, a, at a restaurant... Like in a in a hotel, I don't know the rules. I don't know. I've, I don't know. I don't like to. I don't. I'm not in those types of environments no, often. Just, I don't stay in a lot of hotels. I don't know. You just, leave money in the room for the person. You get tip the bellman. You tip. You tip everybody. You tip the concierge if they help you a lot. You. It's crazy. No, what anyway. you do, Aqua, is you just do what every American should do when they're on holidays, and just say, "I'm an ignorant American." Every time you talk to anyone, and then they'll just know. They'll be oh, like, oh, "Trust it's okay. me." He didn't American. have to say that. They knew. <laughs> <laughs> he took one look at me. They probably figured it out after he shook the guy's hand. <laughs> yeah. to... Well, that wasn't even like an American thing. That was just like a dumb, gre greasy little gamer who never <laughs> yeah. leaves their house. In the real kind of world. Thing. It's just a socially awkward freak. <laughs> That's what that was. That was such but, a good intro to your thing. That tweet yeah. made me so happy. I was like, oh, this is going to be, this is a good trip for Aqua. It was, uh, it was mortifying. <laughs> but yeah, so that happened. Um, what else? On the, uh, on the nicest dinner of the entire thing, we went, like, we, we made reservations to go to a Michelin star Italian restaurant. The whole, the whole nine yards 
it was like a tasting menu like 12 or 10 mm. or 12 different courses just one after another and it's like three hours and it long. was like a three or four yeah. hour experience i mean mm. every meal in italy is like a, at least two hours lunch you're 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 eating lunch for half the day <laughs> like it's 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 insane uh, we t- we briefly talked about this on the members episode. I don't want to repeat it again, but it's like, just in time for dinner. It's yeah. just yeah yeah. You eat lunch until it's time to eat dinner, basically, and then you eat dinner, and then you have like a you know like a, some snacks, a lot of snacks. And when you go to like a bar or something, they just bring you delicious little snacks. Maybe it's because of the places we were going. I don't know, but. Uh, that was great. I have never been fed so much. Like, I didn't even ask for it, really. It just, like, appeared. But anyway, um, what was it? Oh, the nice dinner. Um, uh, Michelin star restaurant, like, a really long, long-winded tasting menu experience. You know, it was our honeymoon, you know? We wanted to have a nice romantic dinner, right? Mm-hmm. Ordered mm-hmm. a nice bottle of red wine. You know, the whole thing. And uh, me and my wife are sitting there. We're outside. Beautiful view. And, uh, <laughs> like, by the second course, she looks at me and goes, I'm going to throw up. I'm absolutely <laughs> going to throw up right now. I am si- I'm so sick. I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't know what to do. And, like, the hotel we were staying at was, like, right there, like, really close by. And she's like... I- I'm just going to go. I need to go back to the room and throw up. And I'm like, uh, oh, okay. I, I mean, we can't just like leave, can we? And then, then she's like, I, I don't know. You're going to have to figure this out. Just stay, just stay and, and you eat it. And I was like, all right. So <laughs> people are going to think stuck. that like you got in a fight and she just was like, fuck you. I'm out of here. That's what everybody thought around us though, probably. <laughs> like I probably said something. The only thing that would have made it worse is if she like slapped my face and stormed out. <laughs> she, like, you know? Throws water in your face. She did like storm out though, because yeah. she was She's nauseous. Sick. She was yeah. going to throw up on the floor. So she did like she just like took off, and I yeah. had to explain to the the, the way the waitress came over. She's like, "There you go, it's everything okay." Like, <laughs> she, You're like, believe me, it well. wasn't We're a fight. So sorry, she's not you know, leaving me. It's yeah. actually our honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they knew that going in. I don't know. We made like small talk in the beginning, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, she's, she's like, not. Are feeling you guys well? getting okay. divorced already? Like, <laughs> only two courses in. <laughs> But uh, no, they could have also thought she was pregnant. Uh, she's just having a little bit of sickness. So you just I told I told my friends about what happened with the with the with the and feeling they asked sick. If she was pregnant. Yeah, they yeah. were like, "Is there something you're not telling us?" And my yeah. parents said the same thing. Yeah. Is there Little something know, she's not telling you? I brought a katana. Yeah, with I was gonna me say you, trip, you're a gamer. So you protected no way yourself. She's pregnant. <laughs> no, forget about it. <laughs> protected yourself with a sword so that way she couldn't get near you yeah so believe me on this honeymoon sex is not something i signed up for okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway um so so she leaves right and i'm like well shit <laughs> I guess I'm. I guess I'm in this. It was like the fanciest restaurant I've ever set foot in. I'm all dressed up, like looking nice and everything, and I just sat there by myself. And he said, and I, "I had in for every two. course. I, <laughs> I I hung out with the waitress. She was super nice. I was like, you want to you want to eat her food? Like it's already like all like prepared, like ready to go.'" Yeah. And uh, uh, I drank the entire, we had cocktails to start too. I had a martini and then I drank that entire bottle of nice <laughs> wine. I offered a glass to the waitress and she was like, no, can't, <laughs> she yeah. said no. She's like, nah, I can't. Yeah, she can't. And uh, I drank the whole thing and I sat there and I, I just uh, texted with my friends and sent them pictures of like <laughs> me sitting there, like <laughs> posing with the wine and everything. And, <laughs> There was this other old man that was sitting like at the table. Like I was sitting by myself at like a two person table facing this way. He was sitting at another table facing this way, <laughs> this old guy. And I thought about inviting him over or me going over to his table and we could have dinner together, you know? But I did. But, uh, I, I didn't because yeah. I was too uncomfortable. <gasps> and Dude, that is I such a good story. But that's so sad. It was, it was upset. She was upset about it. Yeah, she, it was, was like she our just big, like. 
like food poisoning type sick, like sick no. for a night or something? No. Or what, was, did she just get like? It was some sort of Italian virus because <laughs> no. three days later I got it too. She and... kept saying prego. Like she's like, oh, prego. <laughs> like, <laughs> prego. She she's throw. pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not pregnant. I don't think so. Hopefully. But, uh, um, and there's no way she can't be. Let's get real, but. Yeah. Um, not by and, me. And least. there's it's totally no way it could be twins, also. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Totally, totally yeah. no way. No, it was an Italian virus. I got the same thing. But um, what she was this threw Italian up virus? and had is... diarrhea. I what just had mean? diarrhea. And it just ended today. Yay! <laughs> All right. My, so it begins I, the we, shit talk. Yeah, yeah, so we we I'm stealing this joke from someone on my stream. I've made it like three times already. But like we intended to go to Italy, but we went to shittily. And oh. we had diarrhea the whole time. Most of the time. Um but it's okay. I you know, it didn't detract from the trip. We had a great time. I also had a foot injury. I had to buy some vans uh because they were easier to walk in. I hurt my foot. And uh, I bought some shoes at this Italian store called Foot Locker. Wow. Ooh, they had wow. an Italian brand called Vans. And I bought a wow. pair of Italian shoes. Amazing. They're Fas- fascinating. So I like, did you walk, did you walk in to this Foot Locker, as you called it? And uh, well, did, you, did you say, yeah. can I get your finest pair of Italian shoes? And they were like, <laughs> here's our Vans. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I hurt my foot on stream because of Wellen. I'm going to blame Wellen before leaving on the trip. On my last stream before we left. Okay. Uh, I was like, I like did like a, a crouch to like stretch my legs during the stream. And Wellen was like, put those heels down. Can you put your heels down? And I was like, I don't know, probably. And something just popped in my foot. Mm-hmm. And then we walked like, you know, miles through Milan and, and it just like, my entire foot swelled up and turned red. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Wellen. <laughs> yeah, he would try and yeah, sabotage don't, don't, your entire honeymoon. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, don't listen to someone who like works out regularly, you know, and then try yeah, to copy I, whatever I, they I say. Can't do that yeah. shit, Wellen. Come on. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Put those heels down. Aqua dies. <laughs> fucking kills him. Yeah. Oh, Little- and also towards the end of the trip. Uh, my wife ate something that maybe gave her some sort of allergic reaction or something. Ooh. We still don't know what the fuck happened. But her, both of her eyes, like, got really swollen. Mm. So then it looked like I was, like, a wife beater, like an abuser <laughs> or something. Because it looked like she had two, like, shiners, like, black eyes. Mm. She ate some kind of weird fish or something. Something happened. I don't know. But it went away. The waitress eventually. from but- the other night sees them together <laughs> yeah. the next day. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he beat her! <laughs> you Americans are sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, um, dude, this sucks that your wife missed a Michelin star place, though. That fucking yeah, blows. Yeah, she was pretty bummed she got about one that. Course. We, we okay. made plans to go to another nice place, you know, to make up for yeah, yeah. it when she was feeling better, so... Made plans to go uh, shit in another nice place's bathroom. Yeah, and and when we went to the ni- the other nice place, I had the virus and was feeling like <laughs> shit, but I just like stuck it out. I I didn't lose my appetite or throw up or anything. I just had like a lot of diarrhea and a headache. So yeah. mm. you were like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, and then every five minutes you'd like come back to the table, then like go back to the bathroom. It's kind of manageable had, though. Just yeah. diarrhea headache. That's. I didn't feel a... great, but I just dealt with it, you know. I feel like an Italy vacation is gonna be very food oriented, and for mm-hmm. both of you guys to be suffering that shit during <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Uh, I you know, I, I didn't give I just ignored it. It was worth it. I uh I ate gelato. Holy shit. I I've never had ice cream so good. My god. Okay. Pizza, <laughs> pasta. Aqua, have Rango. you have Very you nice. seen the the edit version of of the videos you sent me? The hex did. Have you seen the edited versions? Yeah, on your second yeah. channel. Because oh, yeah. I was did. gonna say they are fucking great. I love They're what so hex did <laughs> yeah. with, with, a, with yeah. a lady that comes up to you, talks to you. Are you Aqua <laughs> FPS? I I was hoping somebody like in the comments would be able to tell me what she said. You know, like someone who speaks Italian or whatever. You want me to actually she... do it? I can get someone like my friend's Italian, so he I can have him do yeah, it. Yeah, ask him actually. Yeah. Or her, whoever. I'll get, I'll get if they speak Italian. What did this random Italian lady Bundit? say to me? Yeah. 
That's I would assume. Are you Aqua FPS? <laughs> <laughs> then she called you Piss Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Hex translated Excuse it for me, you. Piss Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if it were like verbatim that? That'd like, be amazing. Exactly. Fucking yeah. Hex actually like called up an Italian to <laughs> translate it, and that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Well, the Michelin star place. Yeah, give us some details. I have not. In God fact, damn, that was star I'm restaurant. I'm envisioning the restaurant from Ratatouille. Uh, I haven't seen Ratatouille, but it was like whoa, whoa, white whoa, whoa, tablecloth. Stop. You've what? never seen Ratatouille. No. Uh, dude went to Italy without ever watching Ratatouille. Oh, that was in France, wasn't it? I didn't realize it was a prerequisite. <laughs> it's, a, it's a I classic I can't believe they let you movie. on the plane. Yeah. They let you even get a ticket? <laughs> At the customs agent. <laughs> and have you seen Ratatouille? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, the customs I'm agent sorry. goes, and how many times have you seen Ratatouille? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Aqua's like, what? And they're like, yeah, how many times? Oh, uh, we need uh, to. You're going to have to go back to your little rat's nest in America. <laughs> no, no, you no, no, shit, you, just, you make me they, sick. You say zero, and they like have, oh, they send you to like a special oh, room of like 30 no. showings in a row. Send you to <laughs> yeah. a re education room. <laughs> yeah. Just well, uh, there was a pre uh, uh, prerequisite, as you guys know. You have to be COVID tested to come back yeah, into yeah. the U.S. Um, we went and got that done on on our last day there. Um, that was the most intense fucking COVID test I've ever received. That Italian man, he, they, he did, went so deep into my nose, he tickled my brain. And let me tell yeah. you something, I laughed. Oh my god! I was like sneezing all over. His forearms were like covered in my spit and snot. But he stayed in there for like thirty seconds on each side. Yeah, there's there's he different stop twisting and digging and turning and I I was like <laughs> I'm just like dying. Yeah, I know so, you're up there. I there's a couple like different kinds. It was There's the a, violence of brushing my teeth, but inside my nose. It was the brush one, right? It was like the brush one, not yes, the... Yes, it was like uh, a bristly brush. Oh, There's, oh my God. Horrible. There's different ones. And when I was in America, before I left and went to Canada, I had... It's fucking I took Mussolini one. up there. No, no, no. So, so, so uh, the first one I took was so fucking simple. They just shoved it up and just sort of wiggled a little bit and they're done. I went When I went to Canada and I was coming back to America, they did that one. And they like shoved it all the way up there and then they oh, yeah. spin it for 30 seconds. Yes. Yeah. That's what I had. And then they pull it out. And it's like. It was like a pipe cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> I know terrifying. it's up there. I know COVID's up there. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to find it. I'll they find got, it. They got a flashlight in the other <laughs> hospital. <laughs> what? <laughs> God, uh. I, I didn't even have a pipe drop on my head. My brain is bruised from that shit. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. Oh, yeah, we should update um, people. Decky's still alive, so there we go. Um, he made it I, through. Yeah, I made it through. Um, <laughs> I feel normal now. It's, yeah. it's been it's two weeks, and uh, I'm done with my medication as far as my brain stuff, and everything is... Uh, we're good. We're, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm the same person I he was before. He can drink again, and he is drinking, so we're good. I... Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I stopped my medication on on like Wednesday night, and and I was all like, "I'll give it Thursday," and then I was all like, "Friday is for the boys." <laughs> and and whew, this weekend, I I woke up drunk this morning, so I'm feeling I'm great. That's good. Back to normal. Back to Back to, <laughs> back to back usual. To normal, except for the fact that. Uh, we well, it's it's not highly visible. Yes, we we have. Oh, there she is. Yeah, there she is. Oh. Um, a little injured street dog living yeah, on the there's floor. There's the there's the dog. Uh, that we talked uh, about. Quick dog update. You guys were overly kind in the comments. I appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, she is like I I think when that video aired, we had brought her back like the not, late the night before. And so, yeah. like, that video aired, a lot of people came in, and I had the dog. Yeah, she, she, it aired on, yeah, we brought her back Wednesday night. Um, yeah. And uh, it has been quite the ordeal. She is stable. She is good. Um, she just can't walk the, for three months. Yeah, the surgery went well uh, that they did on her hips, uh, which I was like, I mean, how do you, like, what do you do with it? Well, that's why I asked the doctor. I was like, what, like, 
what do you do with a dog that can't use its hips? <laughs> and he's just like, just only pick her up by this and just let the other shit hang. And I was like, but like, I mean, she's laying on them. I'm like, I, I don't you know. It seems weird to put so much pressure and weight on your, you know, your injured part. But yeah, she, uh, I pick her up by her chest and she lays there. Uh, so yeah, the, um, she, she's good. She can't walk. She's not going to walk for months. Um, and that's pretty much all she does all day. I mean, she's sedated. She's got like 15 different medications inside of her, but she's, uh, her one little pata or, or paw is, is super messed up, but it's just supposed to heal on its own. So like we just leave the cast on and, uh, and that's it. She did eat on her own. We used to have to like shove food down her throat and like make her swallow it, but she actually Mm -hmm. is eating a little bit on her own. So that's, that's That's good. Big win. Big win. That was a big win. Uh, but yeah, that's, um, that's all she does. So it's, it's actually relatively easy taking care of her right now. There is a, I mean, there's a lot of someone constantly going over and cleaning this or that, giving her new medication. And Mm -hmm. we have like a log book for medications that she's got to do. Um, yeah, like I was talking with Kings earlier, it's going to be an issue when she starts thinking that she should be walking and that's gonna be then we'll have to like mm. keep her in the cage to like prevent her from like you know trying to move around putting a lot of yeah. weight and stuff on her uh it's hips, a bummer but... my yeah. my parents dog like injured her neck and they had to like keep her like in a cage a lot of the time because she yeah. like didn't know to not strain it you know yeah. mm-hmm. it's just like sad <laughs> but uh yeah you but know it's honestly sorry go ahead Oh, no, no, I was just saying, like, she seems, she is very, like, oh, she perked up, but, uh, she, she does show, like, excitement, because for the most part, she doesn't use any of her body, she can't use the back half, and she doesn't use the front half hardly at all, she'll lift her head like she just did there, uh, but, um, but it is very cute, because she will show, like, emotion with her face, so, like, if we, you know, come in, she perks up, if you go over there and, like, pet her, she, she perks up, uh, but besides that, it's very, very much just laying there. <laughs> well, all things considered, you know, like he gave her a nice place to live, some this good is... medication, yeah, clean up after, her, give her some attention. She's probably having an all right time. All <laughs> She's things probably considered, had a pretty good time. Yeah. 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 By that car, it might have been the best thing to happen <laughs> to the street dog. To be yeah. honest, <laughs> you know, it might be an improvement from before. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, once she recovers, well, yeah, it definitely should Stable be an improvement food. from whatever previous life was. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah you're that's doing the, a good uh, thing. The dog that's update. That's the dog update, and and thank you for a, l- a lot of people came to my stream asking about her. A lot of people came in, uh, like left comments, whatever. Um, I, I appreciate you guys being so kind. Thank you. It was, uh, it's been quite the journey, but I, it is very much, so much more relaxing to actually have her here, even though it's a lot yeah. of work taking care of her, uh, compared to just like constantly going to doctors and them being like, it's a spinal cord injury. Maybe it's this, it's this, it's going to cost this, 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 um, it has been, uh, very, uh, much, I, I, I feel at ease now. That's yeah, my main thing. The, the, the stressful part of it is probably over. Now it's the actual having to Just take caring, care of the yeah. dog for, yeah, six months. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a dog update. Dog I, update. We I need, found like, that any time I'm even remotely responsible for an animal, anytime I'm expected to be even the tiniest amount responsible for an animal, I get this, like, feeling in the pit of my stomach, this, like, really anxious, nauseous feeling. If I have to so much as like um, t- take s- someone else gets in my car with their dog and I'm now responsible for even five minutes mm-hmm. for, for their animal, I just get this like sick feeling and I'm like, I, c- I can't do it. I can't be responsible for this <laughs> that's, animal. That's called anxiety. And most people have it 24 <laughs> seven trying to take when, care uh, of stuff. Yeah. When the ducks showed up, I did not sleep well for like two days just this constant nagging feeling of like wait till you have kids and yeah that's why i decided that that's in, that's impossible yeah. <laughs> that's, <why I> <laughs> that's, that's what i decided too a while ago was i'm not yeah not having kids because i can't i can i already have too much stuff that i'm worried about 
I can barely keep five ducks yeah. alive. I don't know if I How could. are the ducks doing? Yeah, are they there right now? They go to a farm today, right after this recording. Why? Take them to the farm. Yeah. I hope are, are not you, the farm. Are you upset? No, not are the you farm. <laughs> a farm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I really, I really love them now, and I'm, I am sad to see them go. I am happy to get my garage back because they yeah. like moved into the garage. We created a pen in the garage for them for like where they sleep at night. And we've got like a whole area outside with chicken wire for them to like run around and live their little happy outside duck lives. They're getting way too big for us. They're like yeah. uh, little dinosaurs at this point. They've grown into like uh, young adult ducks, like teenage duck. Um, <laughs> if you want to see a picture, go on our gamer hole Twitter because I'm going to force each of them to post a picture now. They are huge. They're so big and they've gotten so strong. Ducks don't have teeth and you can like feed them just with your hands. And I've been feeding them. Uh, but they'll peck the shit out. My, I, I was like, you know, I was putting Snapchat stories of me just playing with them. And my buddy sends me a message and he's like, do you have any peas? And I was like, huh, no, I don't have peas. And he's like, ducks love peas. And I was like. He probably oh. knows what he's talking about. So I went in my I went in my <laughs> freezer and I got like the bag of frozen peas and I thawed them out and I like filled a little kiddie pool with water and I threw the peas in the water and these ducks went. F the peas were a huge hit with the ducks. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they were a huge. I don't think these ducks. Uh, this was an advancement in food technology that these ducks did not know was possible. <laughs> they were like diving in the pool to get little My peas. Uh, but they've got so strong that like I used to just feed them like I'd, I'd like, put some oats in my hand and be like, here you go, go guys. Yeah. And they would just nibble them all up. Now they bite hard and they'll like they'll like squeeze you. They'll, <laughs> they'll just like go to town on your hand. They got big, so they go to the farm today where they're going to live out the rest of their lives. Not the farm, but they're going to a real a farm. farm. Yeah, yeah, they're yes. going to a Which, real farm. My my parents own a good amount of land, So, and I took care of my dog. Like I took my dog in that used to be at my parents, so every time he's bad, I like to make the joke like, oh, I'm going to send you back to the farm or whatever. I'm going to send you to the farm upstate. And I make that joke, but then one time I was outside about to make that joke to him, and then I was like, I'm not going to really? say that just in case people think I'm actually sending I'll send you to the, I'll send you to the glue factory, you yeah. little shit. Yeah, I totally want ducks now, though. So after these guys go, once we get our living You're situation figured yeah. out, I'm totally getting ducks. There's some great houses near me, teach them. That's all I'm saying, you know. Buy a human and duck co-inhabitable house yeah <laughs> yeah like a duck like a, like like a mud room off from your house that becomes a duck room uh, we were considering well we were considering keeping one or two of the ducks ducks are very social they need friends you so need we a couple considering yeah. we were considering keeping two of the ducks but he did a lot of research on it and we'd have to like i think we i think the best option would be to get chickens as well, because chickens will heat themselves a lot. In, yeah, and in the winter, ducks need you either need a ton of ducks so they can all heat each yeah. other, and then you need like a slightly insulated little area for them to live outside. Mm -hmm. But uh, or you put them in a diaper and you let them go inside. But these ducks, a they, duck diaper, I, I yeah. would, I would a hundred percent do like two ducks and six chickens, and then that should be enough animals that a small coop would keep them safe. Like yeah, but at the, at the same time, it's we've got like fucking yeah. foxes that live out back there. We've got like the neighbor's cat. Oh, the neighbor's cat tried to eat the ducks. Oh, my God. I was sitting <laughs> you, outside. You'd probably be okay, though. I was if sitting you... outside with the ducks, and I was worried the neighbor's cat would try to eat them. You had I've said that, yeah. I've mm -hmm. seen this cat like grab a bird out of the fucking air, and I was just like chilling outside in our little lounge chair watching the mm -hmm. ducks. I'm like starting to close my eyes. A fucking cat shows like, up. I'm about to take a nap, right? And I'm like, it's mm -hmm. a beautiful day. The ducks are happy. They're <laughs> like in their little pool. And I was like, this is nice. I'm going to take a nap. And I and I decided I'm just going to take one last peek at the ducks just to see. And I they're like, cute. Yeah. I like open an eye just to take a look at the ducks. And I see the neighbor's cat just like stanced up, ready to dive into mm -hmm. like over the chicken wire into the duck pen. And I was like, Oh, my brain just clicked and I was like, protect. And I just like <laughs> dove out of the chair and I didn't know what sound to make. And I was just like, 
fuck? And I just went full <laughs> Morbius mode. He jumped went Morbius mode. Yeah. Yeah. Morbin time. Cats kissed, right? And I was like, yeah. a cat would definitely... I didn't know what sound to make, so I just went... <laughs> And I like hissed and I like dove into the duck pen as the cat like dove in and the cat like just dug in, turned around and dove straight back out yeah. and just like and just like ran off. And I and I was like fully torqued, Morbius, m- Morbius up like. <laughs> but uh, I, I saved them. I'm the a duck hero. savior. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a, hero. a hero. Look at you now. Every Yeah. Wow. This thing about you. you. I also tried to save a bug when I was taking a shower, but wow. uh, unfortunately, okay. when I left the bug, you know, to do his bug life, he was in the same spot the next day and dead. So uh, he got a little too much water in him while I was in the shower. I wasn't going to get out of the shower to bring a bug outside. I was trying to keep him away from the water, but it I didn't do a good enough job, but I tried. <laughs> Okay, you Aqua had just one up your stories, Ichum. I'm so sorry, but he one up your stories. I went the full bug. Morbius mode to save this bug, but it didn't work out. <laughs> full um, Morbius mode, but I'm not getting out of the shower. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's too much work. Morbius mode within the confines of the shower. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh. Dog flip. Gonna dog turn flip. him over. He's getting too ripe on the one great side. Dog flip. The old yeah. dog flip. Fantastic, fantastic form, yes. <laughs> Solid flip. <laughs> Kings, I was thinking about this the, like the whole time I was away. He was thinking uh, about just, me the whole time. Let's I was. Yeah. I was angrily brooding. Oh. Thinking about you, stewing. Pissed off. I was stewing? Pissed <sighs> off. Oh. Because I was jealous that you have a stream deck or a Steam deck. Mm. Um, oh, and I wanted oh, to have that yeah, it while I was huge. in Italy the whole time. Oh, he man. He told me he doesn't even play the fucking <laughs> it thing. Was, it is the greatest paperweight I have, uh, to be honest. Um, I would play so much V Rising on that thing. Honestly, V Rising would, would be too, good on there. If I had enough yeah, time, I'd probably play a little bit of V Rising on there. It's pretty cool. Uh, I played it. Um, it's pretty cool to install what? games on and never touch. Can you yeah. show it into the camera? So I don't have it here. It's it. actually upstairs right now. Oh. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Well, it's right next to my bed, <laughs> so that way I could, but then I also have my laptop, so then I ended up pulling up my laptop and doing work. Because my thought was, I'll just play in my bed or something, and then I ended up just pulling up my laptop and I'm starting to think nobody work. plays. And I think all these assholes who got Steam Decks before us, yeah. the, the real gamers, I'm starting yeah. to think all they do is they download a game and go, Oh, it works on the Steam Deck, and then they set it next to their bed. Yeah, and, and then go never, play on the computer. They never touch they it. Never no. touch it. It's a situational thing. Well, like if I went to Italy, traveling or if something, if I had enough money and time to go to Italy, for. I would bring yeah. it and I'd probably use it. Yeah. My I brought my thing Switch. Is like I played Katamari Damacy, and that's mm-hmm. it because uh, I didn't update it, and uh, you can't connect to the internet on hotel Wi-Fi because you have to do all that like login shit. Like, what's your room number? <laughs> you can't do that on a Switch. Switches don't have web browsers? I don't think so. Well, when you join the the Wi-Fi, the, the, the little prompt doesn't come up. Yeah, but usually you just you open a web browser and it'll auto. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if Switch has a web browser. Wait, wait shit. Did I fuck up? I might have fucked up. Oh, well. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> doesn't matter. My entire thing with the, uh, I'm a Q2 boy, so, like, my time is supposed to be coming uh, for the Steam Deck. Like, <sighs> June is it. June's the end. Did you, did you check that? Real quick. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I check you, you every check? day. Okay. I wait for the email, but I also go on Steam and click the page Oh, look at that, I'm Q3 now. That's so epic. Yeah, I was going to say, a lot of people were pushed yeah, to Q3. You were Q3. Uh, I was Q2. A lot of people were pushed to Q3. I got pushed to Q3, yeah. yeah. I, it's, uh... That's, That's why tragic. I asked if he if he checked again. Oh uh, yeah, Damn April it. to June, Q two, <laughs> yeah. baby. I'm still Q two, and that, that, I'm getting excited. Yeah, but, you're but, holding well, on there. My entire thing is like you know, especially this year, I've been like, I got to be more productive. I got to be more productive, and that Steam Deck's gonna ruin all productivity that I've tried to accomplish. <laughs> no, what do you mean? I'm gonna game in bed. 
No, you don't That's need to get, my thing. You can game while you're out doing stuff around town. You know, you'll be like, oh, I'm going to the bar. So yeah. I'm it's being the one productive. time I don't and... want to game, though. <laughs> so, yeah, well, that, that's now with... need. It's gaming in bed that's going to be the issue. Yeah. And I and like I I do a lot of phone in bed. I I, I the bed. I'm going to game on arch the couch. nemesis. Yeah. It is my arch nemesis, the bed. And I the less time I can be near that bed, the better. God damn it! <laughs> Let me tell you something. What? I'm the same way. Decky, but not lately. I am jet lagged as fuck. I've been waking up at 5 a.m. and I'm out of bed by 5:30. I get up, I do stuff. I'm crazy. I've lived an entire life just today. In this wow. just, there's so I much time Keep in the day. It it's in, Keep going, baby. I he can't. He won't. It's not yeah. sustainable yeah. because yeah. I'm going to bed like right after dinner, and and. and, and I can't even. I can't fit any game time it in. It slides. It keeps sli every night. Yeah. You're gonna be like, you stay up just thirty minutes. I woke later. up earlier today. Oh my god! Than yesterday, <laughs> he's going in reverse. Uh, <laughs> I'm on Italian he'll time. Re he'll revert back. I like. He'll He'll revert he's back, fine. but he'll do it the reverse way, where That'd he'll wake up at four, be and then he'll yeah. wake up at three, and wake up at two, and wake up at midnight, and, <laughs> and then, then he'll just have the worst schedule yeah. possible. And then you'll just keep working back until you're waking yeah. up at noon, and then yeah. you'll be like kind of yeah. normal, uh, just like always. It's nice. Somehow you end up losing a day in there. I don't know how. It's kind of amazing though. Like my day is so much less stressful. I have like plenty of time. <clears throat> to like fit the stream in and like everything just fits in there's so much time do you, in the do you day remember back in the day early. when we were when we used to set alarms that way you were up at uh like aqua used to get up early too but then he I went streamer to. mode yeah yeah once well, i was working in the early days once, I was, once you're in streamer mode it's hard to get out yeah but you know, it's it's nice. I want to stick to it, but five a.m. is a little too. That's, that's a little that's insane. insane. I said that's, that's a little seven bit is great. It's too seven early. is a good one. That's seven. Seven that's, is good. That's I'm my seventy-five-year-old dad type wake-up time. Seven. Yeah. No, five. Five. Yeah. Five is too early. Yeah. No, that, that's, that's what. And that and when I used to take care of my my family's house for the dogs and stuff, because my parents get up at five, they'd feed the dogs at five a.m. And that's where it's like, oh god, dogs come in, yeah, fucking I'm bother waking up. you. Ugh. I'm like on like older parent time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like not good. Old I'm gonna be old a man golden time. corral later. <laughs> Four o'clock, <laughs> fucking dinner time. I'm going to bed at seven. <laughs> you gotta get like, to the golden corral. PM, by seven p.m., you're already awake for like fourteen hours. It's so long. <laughs> it's crazy. I gotta get back to the golden corral. I gotta get back. <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys, Zichum here with a quick interlude, a quick message from this episode's sponsor, Manscaped. Gentlemen, Father's Day is just around the corner, and our friends at Manscaped are here to ensure all the father figures out there are looking daddy material this June. Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0, which includes their signature lawnmower 4.0, is the perfect bundle to tackle any and all old man hair from head to toe. <laughs> This right here is no dad joke. <laughs> Treat him and yourself and join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code GAMERHOLE at manscaped.com. Trust me, his dad bod will thank you. Uh, Father's Day is coming up. Come on, what better gift? What better gift than a 20% off gift with free shipping from Manscaped? That's... uh. Code Gamer Hold, G A M E R H O L E, no space. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this episode. And now back to whatever we were talking about. But yeah, seven, I, I'm going to shoot for the seven o'clock uh, wake up time. I think that is optimal. You go to bed at like midnight or whatever. You're getting the best of both ends, you know? Because like, I think anytime after midnight, that's like dead time for me. I'm just sitting there like, He's, he's uh, a like, I'm not even gaming. I'm just like uh, watching Twitch or something. What, what's gonna, what really ruins this gamer schedule is when Wellen messages you at like midnight or 1 a.m. and asks to pay, play AoE 2, and then you're fucking up till 4 a.m. and you've ruined your schedule. That's <laughs> while uh, you were yeah. gone, Aqua. I, uh, I played a lot of AoE with Wellen, mm -hmm. and he is so good that I was like, I can't play with him anymore until Aqua gets back because I just feel like shit. I feel yeah. so bad. I'm like, I know that I'm the problem. 
you ever play a game that you're good at with like a new person and they fucking yeah. suck and and they start like dragging your elo down mm-hmm. and you, you don't really care but deep in your mind you're like i'm plummeting an elo because of this i'm tanking my yep. rank because of this and i I know well and doesn't care, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, you like he cares. I'm like, yeah, I'm the problem. I know I'm the problem. I know we can, we my can be brain. terrible together now that I'm back. I need <laughs> someone to share the burden that's, with. That's uh, that's separate elos, right? Like your two v twos or whatever, or separate than yeah. your solo. Yeah. That's the so weird part is he just plays either. like he. He always he's always willing to play with everybody, and I I've thought the same thing yeah. because I feel like he would care, but I also feel like he doesn't. I don't think he cares. Trios, he'll do trios, he'll do quads, he'll he'll do it it's, all. And I mean, you know, like if he asks me to play, I show up, but I can't not feel bad for yeah. tanking I know, Zelo. I just feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm the problem. And we and we played with like uh, two other randoms, and both the randoms were fucking screaming at me in chat. They were like, Gray, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, yeah. build Hussars. Fucking idiot, build Hussars. And I was like, I've never played this Civ before. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm you sorry, had talked I'm sorry. AOE teammates? I've never, never seen a thing. AOE is like the most docile community. Because I think you've never played with someone as uh, who holds someone back as much as I do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but like yeah in general like i mean it's all like 40 year old dudes everybody's all like okay well these 40 year old dudes were screaming at me very and telling me, yeah. telling me it to feels fucking like it feels like when i was like playing soccer as a kid and i was so fucking bad and everybody would just be like what the fuck <laughs> like, and just like, you, you were me. that kid yeah. yeah i would just get hit in the head with the ball a lot and not know what was going on wow I have a, I have a uniquely very similar experience. I went to a soccer camp as a kid because all my friends yeah. were going, and it just wouldn't click with me, man. I was like yeah. trying to play soccer, and everyone would just like laugh when I had the ball, and I was mm-hmm. like, "What am I doing wrong? I'm trying my <laughs> best." Uh, some people just aren't like it takes a lot longer because you're just not maybe not coordinated or you just didn't do it when you were young enough too to much learn that. Fucking running. Or maybe it's just I weird. I just couldn't. I couldn't figure it out. Maybe you have an undiagnosed muscle disease. I don't know what's yeah, wrong with this too. kid. My <laughs> brother was like that. He was terrible at soccer. Like he was, but he tried, and he's tried all the way up to high school. But when I was a little kid, they wouldn't put me. When I first started, they wouldn't put me on the good team. They put me on like a shit team because my brother's reputation of like, you know, just getting hit in the head <laughs> with a ball. And then it took him one year, and then they were like, okay. And then they put me on the good team. But like for that for that year, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Because everyone there were, were kind of, you know, they didn't know how to play. They couldn't kick a ball. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why am I so good? And then I played with a good team, and I was like, oh, okay, never mind. I, I figured right. out where they put the, you know, the difference in the it two. It just wouldn't click with – I remember yeah. we, were, we were doing this, like, practice where you, you have to, like – get the ball past a person. Everyone has to like get the ball past the, the person in front of mm-hmm. them. And I remember doing it and I felt so good. I was like, I'm killing it. I'm killing it. Uh, the guy just stopped and was laughing at me. And he mm. was like, I just remember it's, this has embedded itself in my mind since like 2004 of, of him just going like nice, dr- nice drip. What about dribbling? What was dribbling, it? Fucking? Yeah. He was like, yeah. nice dribbling Zach. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm and then I was like, okay, I must look like an idiot. All right. How old were you? I don't know. 2004-ish, so 9, <laughs> 10. <laughs> okay, so that's a little bit late. Yeah, maybe that's why. But usually like 7 to 9 to 10, no one fucking gives a shit. I mean, no they one's going to shit. Yeah. They were mean. <laughs> and then yeah, I never played. Usually around 9 played or 10. <laughs> ever again. Yeah, 9 or 10 is when people start, you like, they separate them out. They're like, okay, you're on this team just for fun you're on and, Let's and you try. fucking suck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that turned me off from sports man just everybody like ah, is- he fucking sucks yeah, Look at him. yeah. Uh, i'll admit it's it's rough like that's a traumatizing thing for a nine-year-old to i was like i'm here to try i'm trying to get better <laughs> like yeah. But it's a just lot like of ki- playing AOE with Wellen. <laughs> the thing is, no. <laughs> he's he's really nice about it though. If you Except started, Wellen if is you the- started soccer at nine. Most people started at like six, so that's why we- Wellen yeah. is the really nice coach who's like, <laughs> "You got this, man. Come on, you got this. Just hey, just build build some more castles right here, man. Build put a castle right here." Yeah. And the other teammates are like, "What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> are 
are you fucking stupid? <laughs> are you <Yep>. brain dead? <laughs> It's like I'm playing with a fucking child. <laughs> <What> the-, <laughs> <laughs> the few times that like we Aqua and I it was like a month ago we played with Wellen and we were both just like dragging it down. Oh, Wellen's you were like, way better than me though. <laughs> well, even, that was like, but even so, like Wellen's like in there. He's already like eliminated one guy on the other team. He's deep inside this other guy's base. He's yeah. like, guys, I I I need help. They're like coming in my base, and I was like. I've got two horses I'm sending over. And, and he's all like, thanks. And, and Hawk was all like, I need more time to boom. Um, <laughs> Either that, every game I was like, I'm being attacked now, and I have no, no way to defend. Well, Wellen would like, have to like, come save me while attacking someone yeah. else. I know, he's like in the middle of beating the shit out of the enemy. Yeah, and then he was like, like neutral, and I was actively a burden. Like, that's how, that was the dynamic. Uh, oh, it's just anytime he'd be like, Do you guys have something to send over? I'm like, Yeah, I, I've got three units coming. And he's <laughs> when he's expecting like an army. Yeah. You guys have had 20 minutes to boom. Uh, I, I, okay. The funny thing about him is he like he like wears his like emotion on his sleeve kind of well in. Like <laughs> you can tell how he's feeling like very oh, easily instantly. like yeah. you can instantly you can, tell you can sense the disappointment <laughs> but he's so nice that it like doesn't matter you the know disappointment like, but not anger just yeah. <laughs> not anger but disappointment never he's anger like, oh. <laughs> oh no <laughs> only a deep desire for us to improve <laughs> yeah <laughs> well and we're sorry we're doing our best <laughs> you guys should what play a lead. sweetheart He's that's such all, a sweetheart. That's exactly <laughs> back how on the is. show. Whenever you play with anyone, it's like someone's going to be the one fucking holding you down. And usually it's me when I play with my friends because I play like once or twice a week. They might play more or they're just good. Yeah, it was like, nice of Kings Christ. to get me addicted to V Rising and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it since, yeah. I got so fucking addicted. It, Kings is the one who made me play it. He well, was like... Do you want to know what happened? I was going to play with Arcos and Orbi, and I was like, I want to fucking play V Rising. And Orbi kept going, oh, well, yeah, maybe later I'm playing poker. Oh, maybe this. So I'm like, all right, well, me and Arcos, we could play duo, but whatever. I'll just wait, because I wanted to be the three of us, and I want to start from level one. And then at Z-Chum, I was like, Z-Chum, you should try this game. It was just the morning, because no one else was there. And I was like, let's play Z-Chum. And he's like, okay, fine. It doesn't look like a game I would like, but I, I'll try I said it for you. Verbatim to myself. This looks like shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, I'm pretty sure you'll like this game, but you know, you always say you don't want to. I know, went out on a limb. Good. I was like, you know what? I keep saying I hate this game, and then I play it and I love it. So fuck it. I'm just gonna get it. I'll play it. We'll see what happens. And within, within five like, minutes, but then I was like, ooh. The yeah. sun hurts. Ooh, <laughs> I can swing the sword at the enemies. Ooh, uh-huh. PvP. Ooh, I can <laughs> steal loot. Oh my god. Yeah, and That's then kind he's just of how I loot. am right now with it. Yeah. Like we had that one experience yeah, yesterday. If, Aqua, and... if I play it for a day with Aqua, I think he's gonna be. He's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. I need to. I need to like. Which I'm, I'm very heavily intrigued. Okay, yeah. luckily V Rising is a very solid game to stream. So yes. at least if you get addicted to that, you can at least stream it, right? AoE 2, right. not as well, great to stream, but... How will it go on the second channel? I don't know. <laughs> uh, v Rising on YouTube is, is, is really hot. It would have been a lot hotter a couple weeks ago, but YouTube's oh. still hot with V Rising. Hey, have you guys... Uh, I really wanted to talk about this, not because it's Rust, but because of, like... Oh, yeah. What I think it's is cool of Face Punch to do. Uh, there's a big update coming to Rust. This, when this video goes out, will be the biggest update Rust that I think has had since like yeah. we swapped from XP system. Mm-hmm. Um massive update. So I don't know if you I don't know what you guys have heard about it, but I only know a limited amount from the Rust mind. for the last few years has had this issue that I think a lot of games have. An issue I think Tarkov is dealing with right now really rough where the fucking sweaty tryhards who sp- who spend three hours a day on like aim train servers mm-hmm. dominate the game yeah, right they took over yeah and that's fair you spent three hours a day practicing and now you're fucking dominating the game right you guys have noticed that in tarkov yeah that you're just yeah i get shit on in tarkov by yes 
just constantly. Those are the only people playing it, right, left. It, right. As right. Lo- as once you know. the casual people leave, you run into the really sweaty people more often. And, then you and there's play. a lot of really sweaty people. People want to be the best at a game. And there's nothing wrong with like practicing and learning like how to like jiggle peek mm-hmm. and how to like pre-fire corners and shit. Yeah. Um, but it really makes it hard for casual players. And Rust has this issue with scripters where scripting mm-hmm. has become fucking rampant. Right. Everyone, yeah. So your AK, your MP5, your Tommy gun, all these guns, their spray pattern is exactly the same every time. And scripters have just, it's rampant, have made easy ass scripts that you don't even have to do it. You you click to shoot the gun and it's a perfect mm. fucking beam. It ne- The reticle never moves. And you can just massacre people from like 400 meters out, right? Yeah. And they're just, sh- and so the scripters are shitting on everyone in Rust. And the only person who's like a match for them are really the guys who people. who train in Rust for three hours a day, and they shit on everyone. So you're a fresh Rust player. You're like, I can't wait to play this game. You spawn in. Uh, you're like, I'm gonna build a little vase. You build a little vase. You get a little bow and arrow, and then you just get fucking massacred by by guys from 300 meters out, just totally shitting With on an you. MP5. And, yeah. and this is why, like, the early game of Rust is the best because it's before people get the really fucking good guns that people right. are just amazing. But the with. second these guys who, I mean, they practice, man. They they got, like, a schedule. They get home from work. They're like, all right, two hours on the UK and AIM train, and then we hop on a server and play for real. They they All they do is practice their AIM. Every, they are pissed so rust has this update coming where the developers have decided a little bit of random recoil dumb to recoil down everyone can now beam everyone can like all right fuck it everyone's a beamer now you can all fucking spray across the map the guns are would take 100 to 200 hours of practice now you can do it in an hour to kind now, of now you can learn the guns the average person can learn how to use the ak now instead of it being locked behind this and like aim spray that you have to learn it it makes sense to do this on every single level in my yes. opinion except that's what number I'm one for rust yes. scripting which is really important number two rust that's the spirit of rust Rust is not meant to be an FPS game like yeah. that. Like yes. it's not designed for that. It's a survival game, you know? That's what it's always been. People I'm all forgot for it. that, dude. They yes. totally forgot that. Yeah. 3. The whole like argument of like what's realistic, you know, with ballistics in video games. Like recoil patterns are not replicable every yeah. single time you fire uh, a, a, a gun or whatever I, so yeah i agree with the a slight another thing degree of slight randomness. randomness i like that yeah and also um that shit's no fun no one wants to I just know. get beamed well, in the head. well like, what, what, what i want to say is fine but like but be the best in other what you can be the best in game sense you can be the best in position yeah. specific yeah. For Rust mm. specifically, 100% agree. Like if CF, CSGO swapped oh, to but, like a but super that's random, CSGO that's yeah. different. Is, that's different, yeah. That's because CSGO is built to be a competitive yeah. shooter. Exactly. Yes. Rust has yeah. so different. much to offer, right? So yeah. you've got a, a, a fucking amazing, incredible electricity system in Rust, right? You can yeah. create awesome contraptions out of ele- electricity that some people... The, the next fucking Albert Einstein of Rust electricity is out there and we just we've never met them because they they get on the game, they spawn on the beach and they get fucking totally shit on by like absolute chad spraying them from from 500 that meters away. Fucking kid who yes, destroyed us that one time we were yes. playing with that. They just get shit on and you, uh, there's yeah. like an incredible farming system in Rust <laughs> with like genetics for the plants and like cool water pumps and water Nobody desalination and shit no, no one d- and the people who probably would do it just get fucking destroyed out of the game early game because they can't compete uh there's like really fun vehicles to drive there's like super cool puzzles to what do. else are they adding in this update though other than the recoil change so i think there's more right they're adjusting tons of stuff tons of shit's getting adjusted um there's they're adding like okay they added like hit markers but i don't feel like that really changes anything people are really pissed about hit markers but you already it already makes a sound when you shoot somebody so the hit marker doesn't really yeah change doesn't change 
the information you receive. I think just the sound is enough, personally. Right, but, but nothing changes, be it a sound or a hit marker. It's a notification that you hit them. I don't, yeah, I don't see yeah. a huge change there, but sure. um, then there's like weapon attack. I saw that like an extended mag attachment. There's uh, crosshairs now. Everybody gets a crosshair. Yeah, um, I saw that. Uh, they have a placeholder for weapon sounds. They're working on new weapon sounds, but they're they adjusted weapon sounds and ha- are doing a placeholder for now for new weapon sounds and a bunch of other stuff. But it's the like co- they're just trying to counter like bullshit that people do in that game to Here's like my argument is that Face Punch is a company and if they only cater to these fucking chads who are like the the thousands of chads who are like yeah you're ruining it you're killing your fucking game i spent 2000 hours learning the aim sprite you can't change it you really think Face Punch only wants like 5000 people playing their game who are all chads no they want to make money they're a business they have employees who need a fucking paycheck right the game is so much more to offer yeah. It'll be nice to even the playing It'll field a little bit. Cat. It'll be good but for most the common people, player. Yeah. I, okay, so I'm I'm a example of this. What kind of we all are, I guess. But I am a. I love Rust. I've been playing since 2013. I did hundreds of YouTube videos on Rust. I have thousands of hours. Mm-hmm. I never learned the AK sp- spray. I just yeah. don't. It's, it doesn't interest me. It's not something I want to do, and I get fucking shit on. But I love the game. I still, you know, like to play the game. And uh, it's just, I, I, I'm thrilled about this change. You know, I'm excited to play it again. Like when the thought of me standing a chance against like these types of players is very exciting. Yeah. Um, so. And the I'm idea in. that, I mean, this is, it's good for everyone. Servers will have more players for a little longer. I, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm super hyped about it. What? Yeah, we can, talk. Okay, we can talk. Okay, so talk about that, whatever. I just want to make sure. Uh, so yeah, the, there was a cheater for evasion or whatever that tournament that they did. The the one who in Tarkov in Tarkov who won, I think, or second place or won. Uh, yeah, he but got he was cheating. Yeah, he was legit cheating. with scripting is cheating, but he was also using radar peaks or whatever. Yeah, uh, it is confirmed. He did apologize and and kind of. I saw that. Make a yeah. statement. Um. I mean, I said a few things about it, but it's a content creator who's doing it. And I guess my point of view was anyone who's caught cheating as a content creator probably shouldn't be a content creator anymore. Well, that, he was he yeah. was like a really new content. Creator. Yeah, I know. He only had like, I know, um, like a handful of Twitter followers at the time. Yeah, but now so he's, I, he's, it's, it, I mean, it's it's fucked up and you shouldn't cheat, especially you shouldn't if you're competing cheat. in any sort of like tournament. But but the, uh, the rust change will hopefully get rid of the scripters. But I, I I bet you that a lot of and the reason why I was gonna be I bet you a lot of the the YouTubers or there is a bunch of YouTubers that kind of are getting accused of scripting to make their content better. You know what'd be funny is if if uh the rust change hits and all of a sudden a lot of YouTubers become like totally really shit bad. at the game. Yeah. <laughs> they put out their next video and they're like <laughs> they Man, <just> suck. <laughs> die a lot. Yeah. I didn't know you have and to suddenly pull down. Every vid- everyone's gameplay looks like mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, I actually wouldn't be surprised. I'm, I'm sure there are some people I'm out sure there. There's a who, ton of yeah. Who, I mean, the incentive to do. I mean, it's it's a totally shit thing to do. But the incentive to do that, like you know, to get a like, be like, look how good I am at the game. Watch, watch me. St- Make right. these PvP video montages about it or whatever. Yeah. The incentive to it cheat sucks. is yeah, pretty monetary, big on YouTube. Yeah. And if, that's what if people watch you because you're like a god at the game. Yeah, exactly. And and that's my point of view with the the whole. If you are a cheater, even if you did it once as a content creation thing, just you should leave content it's creation. Shit. Cheating in a video game is. There, there's so many the great creators out there that never get exposed, like never get exposure because someone who's cheating fucking takes the whatever, and that's what upsets me when people got caught. There's a couple people that have got caught, and then they try to keep their career in content creation. I hope in the future we get some form of like AI enabled uh, anti cheat. I really hope that there's an answer for anti-cheat out there, you know? I think we've just accepted for so long that, like, cheating 
is cheating. You just live with it and accept it. And yeah. like every time you play a game, you're going to bump into a cheater somewhere. That sucks. It really sucks. I hope we've one day we, we I I hold out hope in my heart for a day when uh, NVIDIA's uh, AI is integrated into games that d- detects when inhuman actions are happening or something. Right. And that and the the problem with that is if it's monetarily a good thing, there will always be people p- putting money into an anti cheat or a cheat system to go around the anti cheat system. No, it's always so gonna, we'll have it's AI for both. Like... Yeah, it'll always be the, the the thing is is that games need to try to limit the amount of money that they can make from cheating, and then you know it'll be better. Yeah, like, or every game does like what Valorant did. What's a Valorant? Valorant do? still has Valorant still has cheaters, so it's like Oh really? What do they, they do though? They like go they into your kernel like program. kernel yeah. system or whatever to make sure you don't have anything installed on the computer, like oh. cheats. That's yeah. why they needed kernel access. I remember they needed kernel access. They needed I... kernel access because it's for anti cheat. That's what they're saying, anyways. It's for an anti cheat to try to stop you from having programs on your computer that they can't detect. Sure. Ex- again, I'm with you, Z Chum. Sure. I Sure it is. What a yeah. convenient <laughs> reason to need. Hey, yeah. I need a key to your house just just to be sure when you're away in Italy that um you're not a murderer or something. That nothing's yeah. going to get stolen. You should just give me a key. Yeah. So you I never can know check when you're uh, gone. <laughs> that is the way that that is the really the one way that you have to do it. So you have to get access to their whole computer to <laughs> stop programs from affecting it. But, yeah. yeah. Well, one day I really hope for some form of God tier AI. I would hate. I don't want to end the episode with Decky. Yeah, uh, I don't cleaning, either. Uh, I want to keep going. Actually, cleaning the dog. The solution is to, for content creators, anyways, to stop them is you just make it so they can't play the video game anymore once they're banned. Anytime they make a new account, they're banned, and then oh, for content make, creators, yeah, because that's what happened with Tyler One. Um, was he wasn't allowed to play League of Legends and he tried to keep going with his career, making a new mm-hmm. account every time. And as soon as he streamed, yep. you know, they'd, they'd have a person just be like, oh, that's his account name. Bam. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. What did he get banned for? He was toxic Cheating. as hell. He was like toxic. People sorry. To... Screaming yeah, he, at people. Yeah. He was, he was, he was on Twitch as well as uh, like in game. He would just like tell them to kill themselves and stuff. And then they were like, okay, you're not allowed on the game anymore. And then he went through and tried to be a content creator. Then he tried to be other games for short times. Then he did like pre-recorded content because obviously as soon as they saw it, they would ban yeah, it. Yeah, they and just had two weeks of streams that were... Is he like a very good player? He's really yeah. good. Yeah, he's good. Who is this? Tyler, Tyler 1 for League of Legends. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, he reformed and then they unbanned him and now he's like a, you know, a big public figure for League of Legends now. Yeah. But it took a year or something, two years. I uh, I I wish Twitch and I I wish cheaters would get banned on everything more often. They, they are supposed to, but yeah, I wish they I would. More there's often. just there's always some shit on like uh, I, I think if a content creator, I mean, I think content creators who cheat should be banned all over yeah. the fucking place. I think if Correct. you cheat, if you upload like a, a Twitch stream of you like cheating in CS:GO. Yep. I think they should fucking ban you from like, oh, YouTube for breaking community guidelines for cheating. And, and they can. Twitch, That's the thing too. And ban from CSGO. Fucking mm-hmm. ban them from other games. I don't care. Oh, you cheated in CSGO. Sorry, you're banned from... I mean, Valve Valve does it with VAC bans for their game-wide. You you cheat in... Yeah. You get a VAC ban in CSGO, you can't join Rust servers, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, it's already like that, but I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I just fucking hate cheaters. Sick of them. Yeah. I think a lot of people do. But anyways, Tarkov wipes coming, so we'll see how many cheaters are left. <laughs> how many cheaters are left? You mean how many how many cheaters rise up out of the out of the fucking darkness? Well, yeah, yeah the they did that. Big, play, they got a I big play my wave. best at the beginning of wipe always, because uh, so they have more even playing field. Yep. There's more players, There's more regular players that are average. Insane. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, no one has like that meta gear that I never am able to afford yet. So. Games games are simply more fun when there's more normal fucking people mm-hmm. playing them. Yeah. The more normal people you can get playing a game who aren't totally cracked insane chads, the more fun the game's going to be. That's why Fortnite's the best, right? Yeah. 
And also, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw this. This is one last thing. Twitch uh, made it so because uh, Doctor Disrespect ran a hundred thousand dollar tournament for oh, Fortnite recently, that. and is it, it happened right, or is it in the future? But Twitch put out a statement and like put on the community guidelines that they're not allowed to. They're supposed to refer to him as other names. They're not supposed to show him if there's any sort of thing. Like Twitch is doing this petty ass shit. They're like, dude, the call huge, him some yeah. other name. Don't uh, don't show him. Make sure to mute him in game. Make sure not to show him if there's any sort of Doctor Disrespect footage or Doctor Disrespect on screen. Don't oh, show the leaderboard because the leaderboard has like Doctor Disrespect or whatever on it. Yeah, it was. It's fucking crazy. Wait, I don't understand. Like, if you're watch, if you watch so, the tournament, so no, if you're like in the tournament, but streaming the tournament, on like, Twitch, yeah. oh, but the, so because, like the Twitch guys that are streaming it, they can't do all these things that oh, anything involves Doctor Disrespect. Doctor Disrespect is being his banned. Tournament. Anyone who's banned from Twitch, yeah. you can't have on your stream. Oh my! Or you God. you can't actively allow on your stream. There, you can show it maybe in passing or whatever, but you can't actively have someone like over that's banned. You can't actively have someone there that's banned in voice chat. But if he like pops in, they're like, okay, we understand there might be some things, but this is what you should do to try to limit it. And it's like, what? I don't I'm know. telling you, man. Like we, 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 you know, everybody's got their own theories about Doctor Disrespect, and mm -hmm. you know what? He had to have fucked somebody's goddamn wife. I know that, to, that, to that piss my, off like, Twitch one of those board members, dude. He had yeah. to have done some like it's got to be personal at this or, point, or I know. or he tried to start his own Twitch or something. Contract. It, 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 it's got to be personal. Yeah, it has to be super personal to to get Twitch to like uh you know what? You can't even say his name on Twitch. <laughs> Wait, when did when did Bezos get divorced and when did Dr. Yeah, Dish I was just get thinking banned? I was just going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> He definitely boned Bezos' his wife. <laughs> also, That's speaking of happened. that, um didn't Ninja just barely announce that he's going to be on uh YouTube now? Did he? I I don't care because oh. I don't watch it. So <laughs> yeah, did he? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. May 27th, he posted a little video, which is and it says YouTube.com/ninja, something about tomorrow. Why? Just, why would anybody pay for Ninja after after it clearly didn't work the first time? Uh, N Ninja still is one of the top streamers on Twitch. I don't know yeah. if they paid for him. Or maybe it's just a one video thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a video. Uh, that's thing. my point. I mean, but, but like, I mean. I mean, I was I looked at his numbers when I saw that tweet just to see like how he's, he's doing on Twitch. He was just talking about he, uploading a video, dude. He's still doing 20K. He's still pulling really? 20K I on Twitch. he's like seven. Oh, that's big. Well, it's 7K when he does League of Legends. And then he swapped going back to Fortnite when the build thing changed. And now Fortnite's uh, okay. big again. And it's like 15K. 10k 20k something like that no nah, so. he was just tweeting about uploading oh, okay. a new video the next day he's not going to youtube i think he's going to youtube wait yeah. he just, he, the next day he literally he tweeted you I know, like, I youtube think eventually, tomorrow i think eventually he will swap to youtube streaming because tim the cat man's he there fucking cares dude ninja owns like a private island i don't think he gives a fuck <laughs> anymore yeah he'll stream on youtube though Sure, I don't think he cares at all about like where he's. That guy's got so much fucking yeah, money. So like, why not take an offer? Why not if go you to YouTube? One, yeah, you know. Okay, I don't know. I I don't think Anyways. that guy fucking cares about <laughs> anything. Man, I wouldn't care if my brawless wife was bringing me a sandwich oh, either. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a year ago. Uh, the other day, there was a year ago the anniversary. anniversary. Everybody <laughs> talking about the anniversary Fuck of that tweet. It. it seems like five years ago, dude. I yeah. didn't remember it was that the recent. The Ninja Brawless White still, incident. still on Twitter? I, I, need I don't to know see if it. he left it up, but people obviously screenshot it, it and they read, you know, they're like, one year since this happened. Fuck, <laughs> God, that's great. <laughs> the Ninja Brawless Wife sandwich tweet incident. <laughs> the Ninja Brawless Wife sandwich incident. <laughs> God damn. You knew that when he tweeted that, he felt so fucking good about himself, too. He's like, I'm living the fucking life. And it's like, you're so out of touch, I mean, dude. He is living the fucking <laughs> not, life. Not, not asked for, it. in parentheses. Not asked for, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With chips, as I get a double kill in bot lane. So how's your day going? <laughs> God, that's great. That's badass. <laughs> good for him. I wish I could eat a sandwich, period. Mm. I'm so hungry. I'm going to go 
See if I can get my brassiered wife to eat a sandwich with me. <laughs> You're going to bring your broad wife a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should bring your broad wife a Maybe sandwich. she'll let me have a bite <laughs> as I lose in every game I play. Yeah. <laughs> as I die in bot lane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, but before, <laughs> I, I know we're wrapping up, but one thing about Tarkov, I'm not, you know, I'm not a big Tarkov boy. I play for a month at the wipe and then I, I zone out with all the other casuals. Yep. Uh, I play Tarkov when it's fun. Um, That's smart. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but I am very familiar with the community. So like, we all know, like the wipe has to be coming. I mean, it's been, it's, it's been such a weird, like wave of emotions back, you know, end of April, everybody, like every fucking body was all like, it's coming on this day, this day, blah, 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 blah. Everybody was like losing their minds about it. And May then 10th, it didn't come. Yep. And then, and then like throughout May, people are like, uh, it kind of lost a little bit of minimum of the people like into May, it'll wipe. Mm hmm. And then, like, the end of May is here, and it hasn't wiped. And then now people are like, well, it's got to be, you know, the Games Fest. Yep. Um, and, and that's fine. I mean, this wipe's going to suck dick anyway. It's going to be fucking wet with Lighthouse expansion. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, okay, I'm a little bit, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a big, I, I, I hate Tarkov. It's going to be hard to top last wipe. That's all yeah, I'll say. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I mean, I feel generally it's the, the Christmas the new year wipe is usually the big one. And then they do one, you know, halfway through the year. And it's usually lesser in my opinion. Probably. Um, and, and that's just kind of the way things goes. And that's fine. So, I mean, they got to make their own, you know, content for the game. But, but then, now I'm, I'm very confused. So like, you know, everybody's got all these speculations and I like to keep track with it. I'm like, you know, watch the community. But now, now, now I'm starting to get into it. And I'm all like, I mean, well, of course they got it. They did the I emote at the Games Fest thing. They're yep. going to have a, they're going to, they're going to have a video of Streets like of Tarkov. The drama. And then they're going to release yeah. a goddamn wipe where Streets yeah. of Tarkov is not even in the wipe. And he just likes and, the drama. No, yeah, yeah. And so so like, well, it. I'm like, well, what, what's going on with this? So, so like, I mean, I, I think it's going to be a Games Fest wipe, too. I think that's the consensus for a lot of people. And But then Nikita on his own personal Twitter account. I'll keep myself. Uh oh, we love Nikita. I love Nikita. Um, but uh, he, then he, he goes and he, and, he, and he talks about his. He's all like, the number one question I get is, is when Streets of Tarkov? And he, and he says, autumn. only autumn? Yeah. So now my brain's even more confused because I'm all like, I'm doing the math here. I'm like, all right, so we have a June wipe. Early autumn is what? October, late September, maybe? Four months, yeah. There's no wipe. I, I, I mean, they're not going to wait to wipe then. They're going to wipe now. And then, but then maybe that's they only don't, like maybe they don't the wipe. wipe. Maybe they don't maybe wipe. They, don't. they just give us new lighthouse content. And they're like, everybody come back and play. New lighthouse, new lighthouse. No, they're what? They yeah, they have to wipe. They're not going to wait 10 months to wipe. Okay, That's but, they said, crazy but they said the next wipe would be Streets of Tarkov. That's yeah, exactly. Say a lot Nikita of says stuff. a lot of shit. I know. Yeah. No, I, That's what I was about to say. People that, people that make YouTube content and they do the tinfoil hat, hat things fucking love this because they can get all this clickbait shit, right? And then yeah. every time they're wrong, do you know what happens? They love it because they can do it for another two weeks later and make more money. It's genius. I recently started following uh, One Peg and One mm -hmm. Peg on, on like Twitter and and like every day he's got a new video and he's even he's been like man I love this shit yeah. and he's like he's like very self aware with it which I enjoy uh, but he's just like Nikita said something else boom new videos yep. out <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but now I, I I am confused because I'm like he's saying there I know God knows it's going to be like a a fucking tiny ass part of Streets of Tarkov and it's going to run like shit and whatever else yeah um <laughs> and that's even if it does come in early autumn knowing that Nikita yeah. said that they might get that arena thing built. though my my guess is they might do arena and 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 uh, lighthouse expansion for the wipe and then I they'll do they'll do streets arena. they'll do streets preview pre wipe. So it'll be like maybe a small section that they throw in without a wipe and then a larger street. Nah. See, th but this is this is what I'm saying. It's yeah, so it's confusing. So we tough. know the wipe has to come. Either that but or him the saying 
Streets will just <laughs> streets will come out in December and they'll wipe then. That's what'll happen. They say it's well, autumn. That's what I feel like it is. But him saying early autumn is like you're just setting yourself up for being a fucking goddamn liar, Nikita. Because we know for one, it's going to be longer. Game yeah. development's always longer than. Why would he even put a date on it? Why? I mean, why a season? Uh, you we'll know? See why it would next January? I think yeah. it was supposed to come out this January. This whole year was supposed to be streets. Yeah, we'll like them working January. on streets and finishing it by the end of this year. To be fair, COVID hit and they all went COVID, home. Yeah. So yeah, but it is. It's just like. It, it, it throws off the entire ecosystem of things. If we wipe now, they're not going to give us a streets map, even if it's tiny, halfway through the mid the mid year wipe. No, they're not, not going to do it. They gave they're going to save that. They they're going to save that for a real wipe. They, they gave, gave us, us some maps. maps. Yeah, they gave us maps. Midwife. 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 Yeah. But it's Sometimes. not streets. Streets is the, the the overlord. It's the one. It's Un too big. Unless they so want like, a small streets for the preview and then wipe in three months when they we'll actually see. have a real streets. All we can it's do is wait. Preview. They're not doing a preview. Uh oh, I should, really a, I should make a goddamn Tarkov drama channel. You should. Yeah, you That's should. what I was thinking. <laughs> Decky would be great for it too, because he'd be fucking going insane. Like, oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I just when he made the tweet about streets, I was like, I don't even know what to think anymore. It blew your mind. Yeah, it your did. dates are it all did. off. Nothing adds up. But that's that's game film and that's Tarkov, so that's fine. We will find out. We will see. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I, I, I know you, I, I, you guys are all like, I want to eat. No, no. Aqua, what's your favorite part I'm of Italy? So what was your favorite part I don't want to eat. <laughs> I'm good for go for another two hours. I thought Aqua was going to talk about Italy for at least 45 yeah, minutes. Yeah, I want more Italy. I mean, Just I tell could us your tell favorite part, bit. Aqua. My favorite part? Yeah. Besides spending time with your, your fantastic wife. <sighs> I can't tell if he's like... Brain's gone, or if he's we went on a thinking. boat ride, yeah, in uh, in on Lake Como, that was really cool. I saw George Clooney's villa. Wow, I saw some fancy shit, um, some cool historical buildings, some old timey this, some old timey that. Hmm. Really nice weather. Uh, just get, went on a boat. Boats are pug. What about the um, stone boobs? Was that your favorite part? <laughs> I there <laughs> I did see a lot of stone boobs. That was pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about that on the stream. I forgot how that even came up. Uh, uh, I don't remember, but yeah. I we totally it's I, I feel like you were about to go on some kind of like heated tangent, Decky. We totally like shifted back to the to the trip thing. Well no, it's just like I wanted to hear your favorite part. There's no oh, tangent. Okay, yeah. 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 Well I probably that boat that. ride. That was pretty cool. Um, oh, see, that's great to hear. That's what I boat. like. The guy was like speaking like broken English, trying to describe stuff to us, like pointing things out, and it was great. Yeah. It was really nice. I can't wait to be in that area when we go to Malta for our gamer hold. <laughs> yeah, I was very close to Malta. I know. As you guys mentioned in the in the last episode, I didn't even realize. They would have loved me there. They would have had a parade in the streets. <laughs> had, I, had they known I was so close. <laughs> Man. We'll have to wait till we all go. <laughs> Damn, I should have gone to Malta. Yeah. They love me in Malta. They love us. We love you too, Malta. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Z-Chum's done. episode. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, look. I'm done. You can't tell me we're not done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to a pool party. <laughs> right. He's taking Frago. a vacation. All right. That's it. We're, we're done. Thank you for hanging out with us on this beautiful Thursday. If you're not watching it on Thursday, maybe you're watching it on Friday or Saturday. I don't know. But uh, thank you for watching. Regardless, we appreciate you. And we will see you next week. Bye. What's up, gamers? Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. We put a lot of work into these. If you liked it, consider becoming a member just by clicking the join button down below this video. Becoming a member will get you access to exclusive members only benefits like a monthly live stream, as well as an extra hour long episode every week on top of the main episode. Thank you again for watching. Appreciate you. And as always, we will see you next week.